Howdy ho guys, Mark Absalon here and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Uh, I get a lot of emails about this so I thought I'd do a really quick video on it and that's creative concept ideas. Um, I've already gone over the 12 stages of a uh, the hero's journey to create like short films and stuff to bring your audience in and get them to watch it. And if you haven't seen it, you can click right here and it'll take you to the video so you can watch it. Or you can go back in this video and click it. It depends on whatever you want to do, if you want to finish watching this or not. But um, anyway, I've done that. And uh, like I said, I had a lot of people emailing me asking me questions on how to do this stuff. How do you get so many views? Even though I don't get as many views as some people or subscribers or whatever. I mean, I, I try my best. Um, what I would do if I were you is get a pen and paper. Write down your talents, what you're good at. If you're good at yo-yoing or if you're good at politics or um, just about anything like that, write it down and that can help you. Like if, for instance, if you're really good at something, maybe you should do a how-to video on how to do it and teach your audience, uh, like for instance, yo-yoing, just like I said, how to do different yo-yo tricks, etc. and uh, allow your audience to do that and do different videos demonstrating different styles. If you're really good at politics, if you got a huge political mind and you like to show your opinion, maybe you would be good at vlogs. So choose a topic. Branching out can be a good and a not so good thing. Uh, if someone doesn't like something, they might unsubscribe. But then again, if someone likes something, they may watch your other stuff just to, you know, keep keep the momentum going. Um, being stereotyped um, can be a bad thing. Uh, it can also be a good thing. Uh, I can use a couple examples, like um, uh, Michael Buckley uh, what, on the What the Buck Show. He is your celebrity guru of knowledge. Um, and he's focused on that. It's brought in a very huge audience for him because of it. So he's on the right track for that. But if Michael Buckley were to change, he'd probably anger some of your, his audience. Um, for instance, Boheme. If some of you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, Boheme here on YouTube. He used to do vlogs. He did all kinds of different vlogs and he brought in a huge audience watching him because of his vlogs. Well, a few months ago, he changed everything to um, doing these really great uh, After Effects animation uh, type videos, which I, I found rather good. He diversed his channel, but his audience was so large that a lot of his audience did, did not like the diversification, so they didn't watch it. But um, I think what he should do is, instead of just totally switching, he should actually do vlog and then his animation stuff or his tutorials and kind of mix and match and please most of his audience because hitting that diverse market is where you want to be. Uh, like for instance, my spare change videos. My spare change videos maybe get around four to 5,000 views, uh, something like that, but I'm hitting that market. I, I get as many emails about spare change as I do about green screen. And that's quite a bit. So I know that even though it's 5,000 people, the majority of people that are watching it are wanting to know information about coin collecting, which is great. It's better than me. Even if the thing got 200 hits and I was getting like 200 emails, I know I'm hitting my market. And that's what you want to do when you make videos here on YouTube. Something else you want to make sure you do too is up your production values because you want the people to be able to hear you, they want to be able to see you, they want to be able to know what's going on like you're conveying a personal message to them. That is one thing that I have seen little of here on YouTube is creating good production values for your video and it doesn't take much to do it. Like for instance if you're shooting, shoot next to a window so that you can get good lighting. Uh, audio, make sure it's quiet behind you. Uh, these little things will help increase your production value so that more people will watch you and want to talk with you and uh, discuss stuff with you here on the internet. Another thing to do is don't make random videos. Make your video always have a point. That comes back to the whole writing down your talent and sticking to your topic if you're doing a vlog or whatever so that your audience will stay with you. Uh, doing one random crazy video and then switching back to something else that's random crazy will, will kind of distract your audience. You might go viral by doing that. You might have a viral video, 
but having a viral video doesn't necessarily mean that people are going to continue to watch you. So from my standpoint, diversification of your channel, communication with your subscribers, including answering every email that you get is the way to go because that one-on-one -on -one level is where you want to be with your uh, subscribers and the people that view you. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Tips and Tricks. I know it's been relatively short, but uh, if you got a second, go over to my website, barncapsalon.com, check out my training DVDs, uh, along with my forums and everything else. And be sure and subscribe, because we're doing a whole contest thing on the subscriber stuff, along with the, uh, we're giving away a prize to a uh, commenter, uh, and also uh, if you're a friend on my MySpace page too. So do those three things. Subscribe to this channel, uh, add me on MySpace, which the link is on my main page, and uh, also comment on my videos, and uh, you could possibly be a winner of some fabulous prizes. Well, I'm Mark Absalon, and until the next tips and tricks, uh, I'm going to get out of here. I've got even more videos to shoot before uh, the day is over with. So you guys have a good afternoon, evening, or morning, wherever you might be.